it uh, the weekend as well. We want to thank you for choosing America's Morning Headquarters. We're here to get you through the mid-morning hours. Yeah, the Weather Channel is helping you plan for the big events ahead, and it is going to be a big holiday weekend. Uh, storms across the south are going to really put a damper on some of those weekend yeah. plans, especially if you were thinking of outdoor egg hunts or perhaps even brunches outdoors. Mm -hmm, a little mm -hmm. soggy for many. Yeah, it's not looking like the best of times, but you know what? You, you make out of it what, what you have with the family and the friends, right? That is that's, true. That's, that's, that's what how it's you about. have to look at it. Yeah, a <laughs> little togetherness there. Uh. But we do have some warmth out there for millions. There will be some dealing with the chill, but others getting a chance to warm up over the coming days, although there is a bit of a price to pay for that warm up in a few spots. Yeah, for sure. And Passport to the Park series takes us to two very different parks out west that you might want to put on your list to explore the next few months as yes, we head indeed. towards summer. That list gets longer and longer. <laughs> well, changes we're going to be seeing in the pattern as we head in through this weekend. You know, uh, we'll see those temperatures uh, near record breaking here across parts of the Deep South as we head through today. So uh, mainly Florida and then uh, uh, in throughout coastal Louisiana, uh, Alabama, and the panhandle of Florida as well, where those temperatures will definitely be coming very close to records here in the upper 80s, close to 90 degrees for all of those uh, still spring breaking down here in Florida, maybe heading to the theme parks in Orlando. It is going to be a warm one out there today, so you can wear the light colored clothing, the shorts, and the summer shoes. And we could be breaking a record in Orlando, hitting 90 perhaps today, and the record stands at 92 and that record has been on the books a long time so near record heat across much of the sunshine state of Florida and then we start to see things warm up here across the plain state so that's going to be a big change as we see the jet stream to, to tar, start to take a bit of a dip in the west and a ridge builds in across the nation's midsection and that's where the warm air is really going to be building in and meanwhile we stay cool in the west as we head into the beginning of next week. So by the time we get to Tuesday, we're going to be seeing these temperatures here in the Rockies, uh, 82 degrees in Denver. It's going to be one of those days in the Mile High City. It should be around 80 degrees there in Omaha and temperatures soaring here in the Plains as the big warm up continues. And it looks like, Alex, as we head through uh, next week, that we will be above average here across much of the eastern two thirds of the nation. Yeah, it's starting to take over. In terms of heavy rain stretching here across uh, much of southeastern Texas across into Lake Charles over into New Orleans and this low pressure will slowly be drifting to the north and east and that's what causes a problem. It could be a slow mover and bring in quite a bit of rainfall here as we head through e each day next week, slowly moving a little further east each day. And that means we could see a very soggy situation setting up. And in fact, the Euro model is showing some interesting things here out in the Gulf. It's showing the potential for this low to become a little more organized, perhaps maybe developing some subtropical characteristics here. Um, and you can see the spin kind of showing up here on the uh, vorticity across the Gulf Coast, the northern Gulf Coast, and that will continue to import a lot of moisture here as we head into the beginning of next week. So expect to see those rainy conditions across the Big Easy stretching over into the Sunshine State that won't be too sunny across much of the peninsula as we head into the middle of next week. So all those who may be on vacation there next week heads up for that and then it spreads further north and keeps us very wet here across much of the southeast and the most substantial amounts of rain again will be along the northern Gulf Coast and down into South Florida and even up the space coast of Florida. So keep that rain gear handy if you're going to be uh, hanging out in the Sunshine State. Maybe a lot of folks have their spring break next week. I think most of it's been. Yes, a lot weeks, has been this past couple. But yeah, there's a few stragglers that may be out yeah. there for next week. It may not be the uh, best of times. Yeah, unfortunately. But again, it's all about who you're with and enjoying That's your time. That's right. That's right. Well, severe storms are ground. So we could end up seeing some issues here. Even Thursday as the rain moves further north and the southeast becomes saturated and so we'll have to watch for sure uh, many of the roadways before heading out that there could be some flooding in some spots. Yeah, uh, some of us not the best of ways to spend the, the holiday weekend, uh, but you know what, as long as you got friends and friends and family to enjoy it with that's what matters, right? And this is right. Now say that yeah. when your six year old is uh, yeah, causing exactly. a lot of noise in the house, right? <laughs>
fun times. Well, some new storms earlier this week. That's going to walk you through it here and, of course, uh, get you into the weekend. Let you know what you can expect. And a soggy start for many here. Uh, already soggy across much of the south. In fact, we do have some bud warnings to talk about where the rain has been torrential already this morning. So folks are having to be very cautious in some of these areas. So you see that conveyor belt of moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico here. And it's